Hey everyone, it's Cooper Troll. Um, I wanted to make a video that was looking at Polaroid cameras and you guys sort of helping you guys out uh, when you come to buy a Polaroid camera and checking over a Polaroid camera that you have purchased, you know, making sure that it's working, make sure that everything's all right with it. Now, obviously, when you buy off me, I make sure that everything's um, correctly working on the cameras. I also clean up the cameras as well, you know, whether it's with the rollers. But we're going to go into a little bit more detail with that in this video anyway. So the first thing you want to be doing is <clears throat> looking over the camera, looking for aesthetics. You know, so for this one, this one's got a couple of scuffs on the top. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video. It's got a few scuffs on the top. It's got it's got one major sort of scratch um, on the back side. It's got some scuffs here, but other than that, you know, as, as far as this camera's concerned, it's actually in really good condition. So then the other thing that you want to look for is just making sure that all the buttons work, you know, that you can press them in safely, you can press them um, and they, you know, sort of do what you need it to do. So for instance, on this one, I've got a button at the back that lets it all come out. Um, and as you can see, there's a little button here, make sure that all the flaps are working. And then obviously you want to look over the camera again. Now, a couple of things that you want to sort of look out for is you want to look at how clean the lens is <clears throat> as well as the viewfinder uh, just to make sure that there's no major little bits. I mean the viewfinder is not going to bother you too much because that's sort of the way that you obviously you just frame a shot where this middle lens here is the one that actually is going to open up and take that picture. So you just want to look over the camera like that. One thing I've noticed especially with the older cameras is these these sort of rubber sections of the camera. So I've got like a cool cam um, and I've got a 600 version of that camera, which some of the, the rubber sort of handle is, is it's basically, it's deteriorated. And what happens is the rubber sort of goes like this, like sort of sticky, it goes a little bit sticky. So that's something to watch out for. Obviously I've tidied it up on the other cameras, but that meant that I've had to actually remove them. Uh, because it just it just looks awful, um, and obviously it's it sort of that sticky sort of um, horrible uh, feeling to it, which you don't want because it's going to cause black marks and it gets everywhere. Often though, you find that on old cameras. So yeah, so you want to obviously check over it. Now, what I've got is I've actually got an old um, sort of just an old cartridge really, that's still got the batteries, they're still working. Um, so I use that and I put sort of like the Polaroids back in just to make sure it's working. So it's great, you know, you, first thing you wanna do is really check this and obviously it comes on and it opens up and it's doing exactly what it needs to do. Now obviously that's the first one. So obviously you're looking at the uh, displays, you're looking at the buttons, making sure the lights work and then as you can see it's ready to flash which is the next thing to check. So we're going to check the flash and obviously it flashes and the Polaroid is coming out. So we know that that camera is working. The other thing that you want to look out for as well and I think people forget this is the fact that you want to check in here that the shutter is actually opening. It's a very quick shutter so you need to look very carefully. I'm going to look in here now and yeah, let me check. Just waiting for the light guys, sorry about that. So it's quite hard to see, so I'm just going to cover I'm just going to try, try covering the flash up because uh, obviously that's getting in my eyes so it's something to uh, sort of take into consideration Give me a second stop okay so that yeah so that's something else that you want to see just to make sure that that shutter is opening um, and then what you want to be doing is, so when you obviously get the camera on the inside, uh, you want to be checking that the connectors are clean 
on the inside. Now obviously you're going to need a torch to get in there for that. And then what you also want to be checking is these rollers. Okay, now obviously if you put a, you know, a film in and then you know the, the first blank you know, card comes out, or the Polaroid comes out, then obviously the rollers are working. Um, now what I've had um, on an older, uh, a newer type, sorry, is that the rollers, it ended up jamming the, the film. So the film ended up getting stuck and, you know, you had to pull it out and I actually wasted some film on there, um, which is really annoying. So it's, that's why it's good to have one of these just to check uh, that it's working. Uh, and yeah, that's about it really. Obviously with the rollers, what you wanna be doing is you wanna be having a look at the rollers. You wanna be checking for any sort of like developer fluid and they're quite easily cleaned anyway. So obviously any cameras that you buy off me have all been cleaned. But what you can do, you've got this little gear at the side that you can just push. And what that'll do is that'll move that top roller so you can have a look. Now. There are a, the newer, there is a newer type of camera which uses the iType um, film. So you've got the One Step 2 and you've got the One Step Plus. Now they use a motor to uh, move the rollers. So you don't want to be moving those rollers manually. There is a way to do that, which I can probably show in another video when I get an iType camera, one of the newer ones. There's also the 7X70 which is like a really vintage camera. You can't miss them. It's the ones that have like the little uh, bellow back. Um, and they too have a motor. So there's like a different way of testing that those rollers work. So obviously don't, if it, if it doesn't go and it's not forced, just make sure that there's no motor attached um, first. But often than not, most of the vintage sort of from your 90s, your 80s, some of the 70s, they just have a little gear. Obviously, you want to be checking as well that everything latches and, the, and everything's comfortable within there, um, within that camera. You know, you're not going to get any problems there. So, yeah, that's about it, really, guys. I don't think there's anything else. Obviously, you just want to make sure that it's shooting. Obviously, ideally, you you know, it'd be good to put like a new set of film in. But obviously, you need to make sure that the film's coming out. So you don't want to be wasting that film, and that's why. Just keep those old cartridges. They're great to have just for testing, just making sure that they're even power on and the connectors on the inside are clean. Um, you know, it's, it's just a good quick test to make sure that everything's working. Okay, guys, so that's it. I mean, I think I've gone over a little bit than I, more than I wanted to, but when you're testing your camera, so even if you get them off me, even if you buy them off me, just make sure that they're working. Obviously, if there's any disputes, just get back in touch. You know, there is a refund policy uh, in place. So yeah, don't be afraid to get in touch. And if you need any help, please get in touch as well. And we'll, you know, I'll help you out. Okay, guys, see you later.